appreciate you here. Um, team, the choir, let's, let's just appreciate them. Come on, let's put our hands together. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate the provost of the Bible College and the coordinator of the School of Disciples for the wonderful work that they have done. And um, all our senior pastors who have been of help, many thanks to you all. I cannot but um, say a big thank you to our beloved mommy. For, please help me appreciate her for this great opportunity given unto me, even to stand here to bring this message this evening. May I say congratulations to the graduating students, both from the schools uh, of disciples and Bible college. Well done. The almighty God who has enabled you will be with you to the very end in the name of the Lord Jesus. Before I go into the message, I would like you to join me if you know this song, which our Father and the Lord taught us a long time ago. I think, um, and it is very prophetic. It's very prophetic for the work that God wants to do in Europe. Um, maybe when I started, you may remember. Christ the rainy king, Christ the rainy king, he reigned over every nation, is the rainy king, no matter what the devil may say. Do you remember? Okay, if you remember, we can sing it together, and then we'll put melody to it. Hallelujah. Christ the rainy king. Christ the reigning king, he reigned over every nation. He's the reigning king, no matter what the devil may say. Christ the reigning It is prophetic. Please, if you can sing it with me. Christ the reigning king. Christ the reigning king, he reigned over every No matter what the devil may say, Christ the reigning king, Christ the reigning king, he reigns over every nation. Christ the reigning king, no matter what the devil may say, no matter what the devil may say, Christ will reign supreme in Europe, in the name of our Lord Jesus, and that is the purpose of some people being equipped. To go for Jesus, you will not disappoint Jesus in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for a day like this. We thank you for all your children whom you have enabled and equipped, O oh God, to go for you. We are grateful for the ability that you have given them, good health, even to go through the training. Lord, we are grateful because you have preserved them even to be here today graduating. Father, please, for all these, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, these few minutes we ask, oh God, that you speak to us. Let your word bring healing. Let your word bring deliverance from every destruction. Let your word, oh God, the do that which you alone can do that which you have proposed in the mighty name of jesus and let your name alone be glorified thank you eternal father in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen the title of this message is my peace i give unto you my peace I give unto you. And I read quickly from John chapter 14, verse 27. John 14, 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. As, not as the world gives do I give to you. 
Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is the word of our Lord Jesus to his disciples. In this scripture, it is very clear and direct the message that the Lord was passing to his disciples. And I will quickly want to consider two phrases. The first one, peace I live with you and my peace I give to you. These disciples of Jesus were just completing their three and a half years of discipleship training. And it was about to end because anything that has a beginning must have an end. And there is time for everything. There is a time to train and thank God they did not miss it. They trained and there is a time to put what has been learned to practice. And that was about to begin for them because they have been trained by the Lord and the time to put what they have been taught, what they have learned into practice was about to start. The essence of training, and I hope all our graduated students are listening, the essence of training is for you to go out and apply what you have been taught. Apostle Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 9, Philippians chapter 4, verse 9, the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Dear graduates, I congratulate you once again because you didn't miss your time of training. And that is very important. Now the time to practice what you have learned is about to start or has begun. Let me put it that way. And my prayer for you is that the grace, the grace to succeed in this shall abound unto you in the name of Jesus. Again, Jesus says to the disciples, don't forget, we are considering two phrases. He says to the disciples, my peace I give to you, which implies that they are about to face wars. Because there is no need to give peace where peace already exists. He says, my peace I give to you, which simply means that now you will begin Another chapter of your life, you will see wars. You will wage wars. Or the enemies will wage wars against you. It therefore means that there will be wars within and without. Wars within and without. Wars within in form of fears. And I hope all these graduated students, wonderful people of God who are listening, there will be wars in inside in form of fears discouragement weakness sometimes illness inadequacies temptations and all kinds of needs those words will come and then was without was from outside what are these there are so many there will be opposition from the rulers that's what Jesus was saying to them. The rulers will oppose you. Pharisees and Sadducees will face you squarely. But Jesus says this to them. It is my peace alone that will see you through. May I say to you the word of Jesus. The peace of the Lord Jesus will see you through. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Because the peace of Jesus is the antidote to all types of war. Whatever war you may be waging or that is raging in your life, when Jesus' when Jesus's peace is with you, you will be victorious. And that will be your portion in the name of our Lord Jesus. And this peace is available. It's available to the disciples of old. It was available to them, and it is available unto us today. 
if you can activate it continually, if you can activate this peace continually, you will succeed in your assignments. Jesus' peace is the only thing that will make fear and trouble to leave you alone so that you can do the exploits you have been called to do in the kingdom. And God will make sure that you succeed in those exploits, in all the assignments that he has given you, in Jesus' name. Now, the question is this. How do I activate Jesus' peace? How do I activate Jesus' peace? Number one, you activate Jesus' peace when your mind stays on him. When your mind stays on him. Beloved graduates, your mind has to stay on the Lord if you want to enjoy his peace. Mind staying on the Lord is another word for trusting God. Isaiah chapter 26, verses 3 and 4. Isaiah 26, 3 and 4 says, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in here the Lord is everlasting strength. Anyone who puts their trust in the Lord is blessed already. And that blessing includes peace. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17, 7 says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. When you refuse to allow anything to tamper with your trust in him, not your knowledge, not your understanding, as we have it written in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, then Jesus' peace gets activated in your life and it begins to rule. And that will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Quickly, you get the peace of Jesus activated when you delight in God's word. When you delight yourself in God's word. Psalms 119 verse 165. Psalms 119 verse 165 says, Great peace have those who love your law and nothing causes them to stumble. When God says to Joshua, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, that the book of the law must not depart from his mouth, that he has to meditate there in day and night, that's the only way he can be prosperous and then have good success. What God is saying is that that's the only way for you to have peace. That's the way to have peace. Each time you go into the word of God, you find comfort, you find direction, you find encouragement, you find strength. For instance, in Psalms 34 verse 19, which comforts me all of the time. Psalms 34 verse 19, he says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Not just from one, not from two, out of them all. That is so comforting. It's so comforting. So, when you delight yourself in the word of the Lord, you will have peace. You will have peace. Number three, you want to activate Jesus' peace? You have to obey God's word. Obedience to God's word activates Jesus' peace. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 18. Isaiah 48 18 says, Oh, that you had heeded my commandments. Then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. When you obey God's word, you become his friend. Because Jesus says in John chapter 15, verse 14, John 15, 14, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you. And when you become Jesus' friend, God will forever surround you with his mercy. With his mercy. All that you and I need in life is mercy. If you lose out on the mercy of God, that person is finished. That's why Romans chapter 9 Verses 15 and 16, Romans 9, 15 and 16, Apostle Paul says that God will show mercy to whomever he will show mercy to. He will have compassion on whomever he will have compassion on. And then in verse 16, he says, so then, it's not of him who wills, not of him who runs. It's of God who shows mercy. So if you, if you can gain God's mercy, you have gained everything. Number four, number four, you want to activate God's peace. Jesus' peace in your life, you have to 
be righteous. Work of righteousness activates Jesus' peace. Isaiah 32 verse 17. Isaiah 32 verse 17 says, The work of righteousness will be peace. And the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. If we can be righteous, we will have Jesus' peace. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 21. Proverbs 12 21 says, No grave trouble, no grave trouble will overtake the righteous. No. No grave trouble. But the wicked shall be filled with evil. If you will be righteous, you can be sure Jesus, Jesus will give you his peace. And lastly, you want to have Jesus' peace, you want to get it activated in your life, you must learn to call upon him all of the time. That will activate his peace in your life. That is another way of saying that if you can be prayerful, you will operate in Jesus' peace. Jeremiah 3 verse 3. Jeremiah 3 verse 3 says, Call unto me. This is the word of God. This is the invitation from God. Call unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you don't know. That is the word of the Lord. In Philippians chapter 4, verses uh, 4, um, 6 to 7, pardon me. In Philippians 4, 6 to 7, the Bible says that be anxious for nothing, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let all your requests be made known to God. And verse 7 says, and then the peace of God that passes all understanding will rule your mind and your heart through Christ Jesus. You want to have Jesus' peace, you must learn to pray. And I hope all graduating students, you are hearing me well. You must learn to pray and to pray all of the time. When storms and turbulences come knocking, call upon the master of the storms. He will calm them. He did it for the disciples on the Sea of Galilee. When they called upon him in Mark chapter 4, 38 to 39, Mark 4, 38 to 39, if you call upon him now in whatever turbulence or storms, he will hear you. He will calm that, that storm. He will say to the storm again, peace be still. Because it's alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Any time, any day, when you call on him, he is ready to say, peace be still. May he continue, continually calm every storm in your life as you call upon him. As I close, maybe there's somebody here. You have not surrendered your life to this master of the storm. There is no way you can enjoy his peace. Because his word says that there is no peace for the wicked. But if you will come to him today, I can guarantee you, he will receive you. And then you will begin to enjoy his peace. If there is anyone like that in our midst today, please, I want you to make today a memorable day in your life. By surrendering your life to Jesus. As we all now bow our heads to pray, I would like such a person just to stick up his or her right hand and I pray with you. Anyone, anyone, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus and you are going through turbulences and storms, Jesus is able to give you peace. He is the prince of peace. He wants to give you peace. And today, he is ready for you. Are you ready? Are you ready now? Just stick up your right hand. I'm going to pray with you. Anyone like that here? Anyone like that? Make this Europe Convention 2022 unique and memorable in your life. Is anyone, anyone deciding for Jesus today? Here. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Now I want us to pray. I want us to pray. The first prayer is to thank God. To thank him, the only one who enables one to start and to finish. <laughs> it's not because you are smart. It's not because you are intelligent that you have been able to go through this training and you are finished. None of us here seated. It's not because you are so wise. That's why you are on your seat alive today. It's because of God's mercy. Let's go ahead and thank him. Let's thank him. He's the one who woke you up today, not your alarm. He's not, not your alarm. It's God who woke you up. Let's thank him for his mercy. Let's thank him for his peace. 
Let's thank him for his faithfulness. Let's thank him for this Europe Convention 2022. Let's thank him for all that he has done for us so far. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. Thank you for all your children graduated today. Thank you, O oh God, for enabling them to start and to finish. Thank you, O oh God, for equipping them, for preparing them, for empowering them. Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful for the gift of life. Lord, we are so grateful. Thank you so much, O oh God, for all good things that you are doing here. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, eternal Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. not to not to be wondering all about for you not to be distracted for you to 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 stay on god your mind to be fixed on god cry for grace cry for grace lord say in the name of jesus father please grant me the grace the grace for my mind to stay on you because i need perfect peace i need perfect peace help me help me oh god Help me, O oh God, to trust you day and night, anywhere, in any situation, in any circumstance. Lord, please give me the grace. Cry for grace. Grace to love God's word. To, to, be, to, to have delight in the word of God. You just want to, 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 to study his word. Cry for grace. Grace for that. Lord, grace, O oh God, to have delight in your word. Lord, I cry unto you for your grace. Grace to obey God's word, to obey God. When you obey God's word, you are obeying God. Cry for the grace. Lord, please give me the grace to obey you. The grace to obey you and obey you completely. To obey you totally. Oh God, not have uttered obedience, oh God. Not partial obedience, Lord. The grace to obey you, to obey your word. Cry for grace. The grace to be righteous, to live righteously in this crooked and wicked world. Ah, please, Lord, give me the grace. It is righteousness that delivers from death. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2. Righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness gives peace. Lord, I need the grace. The grace to live righteously. To live righteously, Lord, please, give me the grace. And then cry for the grace to be prayerful. To be prayerful. Lord, please. Lord, please give me the grace to pray. To pray and not to faint. Oh, to pray and not to play. Oh, Lord, please give me the grace. Give me the grace to be prayerful. To pray when it is convenient. To pray when it is not convenient, Lord. Give me the grace. Give me the grace, King of glory. Thank you, eternal Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, that is our heart's cry. Thank you very much for all these, your children, whom you have seen through their training. Thank you, O oh God, because you will surround them with your peace. You will cause them to succeed. And the same thing you will do for all of us, O oh God. Thank you for the rain of your grace that is falling already. We are so grateful to you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. The rest of today, Lord, be in absolute control. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, Lord. Let's just celebrate him with a clap offering, oh God. Lord, we celebrate you. We worship you, oh God. There is no one like you. No one like you in heaven. No one like you on the earth. You are the master of all things. The director of all things. The king of glory. We bless and magnify your name. In Jesus mighty name. We have prayed. Amen and amen.